Hello everybody, Joel here from Devon Dice. I'm bringing you another unboxing video. This unboxing video I'm very excited to get because it's a deluxe version of a game I really like. And that is the new Rococo from Eagle Griffin Games. Now, this is not kind of a Kickstarter, but it kind of was. It's a bit weird, but they basically put it on pre-order. I pre-ordered it with Meeple's Corner beginning of the year I believe and um, just finally received my copy and so excited to open this. Meeple's Corner does have a small small quantity of this game, the full bundle, the all-in bundle, so you get lots of extra goodies with it. So if you want a copy of this after seeing it, check out his site. Stocks are limited, so if it's all gone, it's all gone. I do apologise. Also, not a sponsor, but I just want to point out, I've got my new t-shirts from Mr. Meeple. So this is the new 2020 Kickstarter uh, Meeple with all the board game names all crammed inside. I've got another t-shirt. And um, yeah, these are great, fabulous t-shirts, really comfortable, nice cloth. Um, they don't shrink in the wash. Not this lot, any, well, not the first lot I had. So um, hopefully this doesn't too, but they are good quality t-shirts and they reference all sorts of board gaming terms. So check out his store if you want a cool t-shirt like mine. <laughs> anyway, let's get over to the unboxing and see what you get inside this beauty. Right then, this is a massive, massive box. Okay, well, it's not actually massive, massive. I've had bigger boxes, but this is actually a big box for what it is. And um, if you see the artwork, it looks lovely. It's by Ian O'Toole, a great board game artist. He's used quite a lot in Eagle Griffin games, and he's renowned throughout the board gaming industry. So, And his art always fits the game. He's not got one style. This is what's actually so good about him. He adjusts his style to the games he's drawing for, basically. And I love this new artwork. This is, like, fresh. It's minimalistic. It's actually quite exciting. It's something you could have in the wall. And the detail he's put into it is actually looks like it's, like, done with watercolours. And then it's also got this unfinished part to it. So it's, like drawings early halfway the paintings early halfway through so i think that's a really nice touch i really like it actually gives a big description of what's in it and that is just the base game that's just not, that's not everything um, but it does list here it does list all the content so for the base game and then the jewelry box expansion the madame de berry solo expansion so it's just cards fancy dresses and then uh, festive dresses so it lists it all there let's have a look what we got in here so first off we got some lovely embroidered felt bags these are for keeping um like the resource tokens in the dress tokens in and another set of tokens that i can't remember what it's for there's there's two bags for the main game and there must be another bag for like the uh the jewelry expansion so here's the rule book it's all still done in the style looks very very renaissance kind of artwork with the gilding down the side looks very nice nice layout Nice instruction, very good. And then it gets onto the uh, the extra expansions. The other expansions are further on in. It's quite cool. Then we got some reference sheets that you can give to people. So one for the employees of the general game, and then we've got one for the jewelry box expansion. And then, as you can see, there's lots of little. So these little ones, actually, the uh, the fancy dress dresses from around the world so you've got different countries going on here 
So you've got Brazil, China, Japan, uh, Thailand. I think that's Thailand. Pretty sure it's Thailand. Uh, France. Uh, France, France. Two French. Ah, I've got two French. Ah, didn't realise that. Unless I meant to have two French, I don't know. Um, South Korea. Spain. Germany. British. Back to Brazil again. So yeah, I don't know if I meant to have two lots of French things. Um, probably not, so I've got a spare one. So... We've got punch board one. So you can see now the artwork has changed dramatically for all the stuff. This is, these used to be white backgrounds with um, <clears throat> the cloth and that on it. You now you can see that they've got these kind of frilly for lace and then actual yarn ball. Uh, coins are good. It all punches out very easily. You can see how thick it is. Not bad. Got the Queen's token, and then you got these. These, I'm no. I think I need to get used to this. Um, I do like the art, but I'm so used to the old version. I quite like the old version. It kind of the dresses and that look nice, and they fit it in. But anyway, so here's the board, and this board is huge. If I can open this up gently. can only do a certain part but you can see the board is laid out differently so now we've got statues and um the other stuff i can't remember what else there's so statues oh fountains and that going on now that's in the center then you've got places for your uh employers cards and then you've got your dresses and your resources on that side. So it's all condensed onto the bottom. I say condensed, it's actually massive. And then the uh, floors are being divided into five still, by the looks of it, but they're not tiered like they used to be. They're in a kind of more palace-like um, layout with the king sat in the middle. So it all looks pretty similar, apart from um, there's just a different layout and there's actually scoring around the board because it used to just be and then there's that one so that side is I'm trying to see if it says four to five players so then on the back you've got then two to one to f one to three players so. more punch boards more dresses um, and now we've got the jewelry expansion bits going on here so we've got necklaces and rings and things going on more expansion. so that's all the boards then we've got the sideboard for the jewelry expansion never played a jewelry expansion but i am now so looking forward to playing the jewelry expansion it's gonna be good fun and nice this is a one thick bit of plastic and it's just a cover it's not doing anything other than like keeping all the bits in place and that was quite thick so let's do the cards quickly a few moments later can't tell if oh, i think this is jewelry box expansion cards because we got a jewelry symbol in the corner so never mind so then we got the uh normal ones now again i think i'm gonna have to get used to the art I mean, it's very different to the original. And yeah, I think I need to get used to it. I can't say any more than that. And then we got the uh, players cards because they got different numbers. So very nice. The cards are very good quality. They're very thick. They've got a linen, yeah, they've got a linen finish. So um, yeah. Top quality cards. Just need to get used to the art. 
Then we've got the player boards, which kind of is this kind of like, looks like a, a house crest kind of thing, which is kind of quite cool how they design that. It gives us a reference of what players can do. Oh, no, it gives a reference of what players can do, sorry, down here. And then uh, order things at the top here, which is quite cool. Quite like that. Oh, and then, oh yeah, so it's got this phases, first phase, um, second phase, third phase, fourth phase. That's quite nice. Nothing on the back, just plain. And a nice little well to fit it into. And then with the all-in deluxe bundle, you get, of course, metal coins. So you got some twenties, you got some tens, got some fives, and you got some ones. And these are pretty nice. I even got a wash on it to make them look a bit old. Not as heavy as I thought they're going to be, but nice. Still very nice. Um. This is the first player marker. Yes. So this metal thimble, and it is metal, is the start player token. And then we've got a queen's bust for when someone wants to take the queen's letter. Something like that. I can't remember now. So that's actually made of a kind of um, resin. Very nice. Then we got players pieces. This is the white one you see it's actually got a guild on it. Now, there's also these. I think these are just for token holders. I don't know, I'm not really sure what why we got these. Maybe they are. Now that's quite clever because these are kind of secret when you take them. People will see what you take, but when you've got them in front of you and you don't use them, they are secret. And what it actually does is it covers up the bottom piece. So it covers up that you don't have that resource, but you do have these top resources. Because that does sometimes confuse people. It's like, well, I've got a yarn on that. No, no, no. When you select, you either have it for the cloth or you have it for the the uh, materials or resources on the bottom. And that covers it up. That's quite cool. Quite like that. I do wonder whether that bit is for that as well. Because there's a little extra lip there. So you can keep track of how many tokens you've got left. You know, they wrap perfectly, they are perfectly round. It's just the printing's not perfectly round, but then I think that's to uh, kind of give it some authenticity of the era. And then last of all, so you've got five colors of those, but now last of all, we actually have these kind of resin um, yarn spools. For sewing. So instead of cubes, what were they? Were they cubes? I can't remember now. I think they were cubes. Um, so instead of cubes last time, now we got real yarn spools. And for the lace, we've got like, it looks like lace, but again, there's another molded one. Very nice. Very beautiful. And that's that. That's that's everything you get in a box, I believe. So yes. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Please like the video. It all helps. You're all great sports. Thank you for watching. My name's been Joel Wright. And check out the other stuff on Devon Dice. Bye now.